Welcome to DBeaver's YouTube channel. The main goal of our apps is to simplify SQL scripting for users in various professions who have different skill levels. That's why we have the Visual Query Builder, a tool with which you can create queries you need in just a few clicks. Today we want to talk about two ways how you can use this feature. How to create a select query with VQB. Let's go back to our database specialist, Lewis, who uses dBeaver and CloudBeaver on a regular basis. He's already mastered SQL scripting, but continues to use Visual Query Builder from time to time. This feature allows him to speed up the process of creating queries, and it turns out to be useful for his movie-related hobby. Lewis is a big movie fan, and in his free time, he maintains a website dedicated to movies and TV series. This time, he's decided to create separate movie pages divided by language. He wants these pages to display titles, release years, and all the actors who starred in them. Let's see how Visual Query Builder can help him quickly collect the necessary data. To begin with, he creates a new script and opens a Query Builder tab inside the SQL editor. Then, he drags and drops the film, language, and actor tables inside the VQB area. All relationships between the tables are displayed automatically. The next step is to mark the necessary checkboxes and the columns that contain the data he needs. In the Conditions tab, he sets the language to English. He then checks that the joins are displayed correctly and receives a ready-made query. Now he can run it and look at the result. He notices that by default, the result set's titles is sorted alphabetically. He decides it would be a good idea to sort the movies by release year. In the Sorting tab, he adds the necessary condition and runs the query again. Good job, Lewis. Our hero saved time on writing queries manually and received the required data set for use on the website. How to check and edit SQL query using VQB. Sometimes Lewis has to check scripts created by his colleagues, and in this case, Visual Query Builder also turns out to be useful. Lewis's colleague has created a query to determine the top 100 customers by payment amount. He said that his query works correctly, but he doesn't know how to sort the result set by the desired parameter. To begin with, Lewis opens a query in the SQL editor. When Lewis runs the query, he sees that the default result set is not sorted. He decides to quickly switch to the Visual Query Builder and immediately gets a visual model of the existing query. Lewis needs to add the sorting by payment amount to determine the top 100 customers. To do this, he goes to the Sorting tab, adds the condition Amount, and changes the order from Ascending to Descending. After rerunning the query, he sees that he has achieved the desired effect. The result set is perfectly sorted. Now that the task has been completed, Lewis can send the finished query to his teammate and show him how to adjust his queries using VQB. Like our hero, you can also use both ways of working with Visual Query Builder to simplify SQL scripting and check queries faster. Feel free to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button so you don't miss our new videos. Thanks for watching and see you in our next video.